Secret Diary of a Kron's Locket is a public domain journal you can read at the website linked in the description. Journal Entry 163. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Please read the whole thing before casting judgments. I evoked Dirk Strider, fictional character. Probably the weirdest part about this dream, because I would never dare attempt such a foolish endeavor in real life. You can't do that. Pop culture magic requires you tying the characters and system down to real alternatives. You can't just evoke Batman. You would need to assign him to a spirit or a demon or something. You can't just call up a fictional character. Magic doesn't work that way. But anyways, I was communing with him. I told him he didn't look how I expected, but that he looked the way he did in a lot of fan art. This is odd, because the fan art doesn't exist in reality. I told him my name, which he asked so he could look me up in his universe. I told him I cosplayed him, which he found weird, and asked me not to do, which I stated, look, in my world you're not real, so... And then I looked up from the vent during the evocation. Two frail white legs. Almost none. They belong to a child hanging through. <sighs> look, Turk, I gotta go. I moved the big-ass vent thing and saw a boy standing there. My window was open. His eyes turned black, and he ran for it, out the window into the street. I searched my room just in case there were more kids during a banishing with Sage, but nothing. Then I went to my mom's room. I was talking to her when I saw a little girl in the closet hiding. I grabbed her, and she tried to run because her body was small, and forced her to talk to us. She said, Well, you see, we are the black-eyed children. We heard a knock on the door and invited a few kids inside. Her eyes were inherently hypnotizing. They were scarlet black with giant green irises that kept flooding back and forth, back and forth between full black and that. I'm not immune to hypnosis. I used to be. But I built out my immunity for pleasure. Her eyes inherently hypnotized you. I know the feeling well. The other kids were normal, but their eyes kept fading in and out of black. I was talking with the kids in the living room when I noticed my mother made cookies earlier. I saw them sitting there and I said, I'm sorry, <laughs> would you like some cookies? and went and gave them some. You know, we've kept our eye on you, the girl said, taking a bite out of one. She had the demeanor and spoke like an adult, but had the voice of a child. Why are you here? <laughs> like, what do you need help with? Offering her and the men in black my assistance. She gave me an explanation that translated to, the old house we were staying at belonged to a contact of theirs. You see, I'm a witch, so I mess with the ship, and my family doesn't. So... I made a noise to express how they didn't. Where are your parents? Where are the men in black? We're not connected to the men in black. You know, I was abducted a few times in my dreams. On the astral. What do they do? You know when you need to take care of somebody? Implying whistleblowers in death. You know, I had a phase where I really wanted to meet you. The girl with the braid continued to eat her cookie. Well, are you satisfied? And then I woke up. I felt the men in black's presence watching me as I woke up to write this. They have a certain astral feeling like spirits do. Let's be clear here, this dream wasn't any sort of sign or anything. The black-eyed children and the men in black are entities you do not want to fuck with. They are beings of inherent malicious intent and will come after you if you try to talk about them. They're not cozy up eating cookies. They are causing the deaths of whistleblowers and cancer and shit. I am not a danger to them. I'm a paranoid schizophrenic system. Me talking about aliens is like fish swimming in water. But know this. They're inherently real. I felt the men of black presence watching me before. I'm very good with energy. I normally pick up when deities or spirits are looking at me. I felt their presence immediately after the dream. Though I also sensed they were disguising it, trying to hide that they were watching me from my view. I don't know entirely why. It's like that. The majority of my dreams I've had with the men in black and the black-eyed children, which there have been plenty, within them, so to speak, are odd meanings like this that paint them as odd policemen, misunderstood, or sorts who use rough methods but are overtly harmless. That's bullshit. That's 100% bullshit. The men in black are dangerous, malicious entities. The men in black will come after you. They will ruin your life. They will ruin your friends' lives and your family's lives. The black-eyed children are inherently tied to the men in black. But this is mostly because, well, aliens. Whenever something comes here, and I mean beyond the astral, it is inherently a force outside this world. People talk, and connections are drawn. These guys are the alien mafia. They exist to stomp out that talking. Also, these kids weren't off-putting enough to be the black-eyed children. In the dreams I've had about them, they never are. 
They come across very human to me. This is not the first occurrence. They weren't speaking in out of date slang. They weren't dressed weirdly. They were not incredibly pale outside the braided girl who wore a Dorothy like dress, though they were all white and fair in race. These aren't the black eyed children. So let me give you the rundown, since you're probably reading this on a forum and have no idea what I'm talking about. Allow me to be more of a laughing stock for you. The black eyed children are an urban legend that these strange, pale, out-of-style, dressed kids will come to your door asking to be let inside. They will hypnotize you to let them in, but at the last minute you will feel yourself shutting the door, essentially saving you. They are perfectly normal looking, but inside, in normal clothes, they will dress outdated. They will also dress soulless black eyes. I've read on one account of what happened when someone let the black-eyed children in, and equated to strange signs, radiation poisoning, and cancer. The account was anonymous. Majority of the time, we just don't know. I used to be obsessed with them in the conspiracy, but mainly because I have an alter named Abadril who suffered severe delusions about the men in black. I haven't looked twice at this since I've been sane. The dream was odd. I don't know why I had it. The men in black is not just some Will Smith movie. This is not pop culture magic. Despite the strange dream evocation that I would never attempt in real life because pop culture magic is a child's game and a joke. You want to fucking work with Batman, fine, but you're not doing established magic for it. But, yes, it's real life conspiracy theory that the movie just so happens to be based on. There's that there's a malicious group of presumably aliens that go after people spilling too much about said topic. They're otherworldly. They're malicious. They will take note of you and come after you if you say too much. They are terrifying forces you can't escape. They will destroy your life and possibly even kill you. It's not for the faint of heart. They cannot be negotiated with. They will pose as people of power and exploit it. Just like Lovecraft, this is not something you should be fucking with, but also like Lovecraft. I feel like some idiot somewhere will. Something's weird it's happening as I write this entry. I feel a strange present on my altar and it's glowing, the way it does when a god is present. I know this all sounds ridiculous. I, despite previous entries, making myself out as a joke of a magician by even discussing it with you. But still. I am merely a black magician. I summon and evoke spirits. I cause changes to occur within my world by messing with natural primal forces. I wear talismans of power. I talk to gods. I am not a conspiracy theorist. But if you and I are being honest with ourselves, where do you think this all comes from? Don't be daft. Apollo, Thor, Vishnu, Shiva, where do you think they come from? Well, they're gods, right? Yes, they are. And they came here. Most occultists will agree, so the real question is where? Odin's fucking mythology has several different planets in it. That is fucking aliens, and you can't convince me otherwise. You need to tell me, you an occultist on a black magic forum who, honest to God, only believes that we are alone in the universe. <laughs> wow, the audacity. And I thought I had an ego. Which I do. But again, I'm not here to insult my readers. I've had a lot of otherworldly experiences, mostly in my dreams though. I never did tell you about the beautiful aliens I met astral traveling, or the surgery they performed on me. But I don't like to think about these things. I have a lot to say about it, but I prefer to talk to myself on such matters. I don't want to be an alien person. I have a lot to say about aliens, but I want to be an occultist. I don't want to talk to you about my supposed abductions. I am an occultist. I'm an occultist with issues who prefers to work with demons. I like demons. That's where I'll keep my work. Akron's Locket, 4.06am, 